So for Levi Strauss and Company, a turning point in our sustainability journey, in fact, just a huge inflection point, was 11 years ago when we conducted our first environmental life cycle assessment on our products. We did an environmental LCA on a pair of Levi's 501s and a pair of Dockers khakis. And an environmental life cycle assessment looks at the entire life cycle of the product from growing the cotton, the raw material stage, through spinning that cotton into yarn, weaving that yarn into fabric, cutting and sewing it, it into a product, and then shipping it to a retail store, consumer use, and finally, end of life. So it's that entire life cycle of the product that we look at, and scientists conduct a life cycle assessment and use a lot of data to determine how much water, energy, um, chemicals, environmental impact that we have in making the product. So what we found surprised us in two areas. One is just the amount of impact that we have in making our products. One pair of Levi's 501s uses almost a thousand gallons of water in the entire life cycle. So that shook us up. It woke us up to the impacts that we were having. But the other thing that we learned is we had always assumed that our biggest impacts were in manufacturing. That's what we knew and that's what we were closest to. But what the life cycle assessment revealed to us is that our biggest impacts are actually in growing the cotton and consumer use. The two ends of the life cycle assessment. Growing cotton uses two-thirds of all of the water that a pair of Levi's requires. Consumers washing and drying our product during the time that they own it uses about 30 percent of the energy. So those insights really caused us to shift our focus on what we were doing. So I mentioned that one of our big material impacts is around water. And after we conducted our environmental life cycle assessment and shared those results with people in the company, the people who design our products came to us in the supply chain and said, we need to do something about the amount of water that we're using. Yes, we know that cotton and consumers, they're a big part of it, but the part that we control, what can we do about that? And so our design people came to us in the supply chain and they said, we want you to give us product that has the same look and feel, the same aesthetic, because that's so important to design. And they said, do the same aesthetic, but using less water. And so it forced us in the supply chain, people in product development and sourcing, to go back to our contract factories and work with them to figure out how could we reduce the amount of water? Were there different techniques that we use? There's usually a recipe, literally a recipe for, oh, we do this to the gene and then we wash it for 10 minutes in this amount of water and then we wash it again for 20 minutes in this amount of water and can we adjust the recipe to use less water and in fact we found that we we could. In the end we came up with 21 techniques that helped us reduce the amount of water up to 96 percent and in the five years that we have been implementing this water less program the company has reduced our water use by over 2 billion liters of water.